let's just talk about what that means when you have weak gut integrity. That means that you can have small fractures and holes in your gut. So now things that are supposed to be broken down properly, things that are supposed to be absorbed properly, that only partially happens. And that's because we have an overgrowth of bad bacteria and not enough of the good bacteria. And when I say bad bacteria, now the opportunistic bacteria or the opportunistic flora has turned bad because once it's out of balance, it's bad. And when it gets out of control, it impacts the integrity of your gut lining, the integrity of your intestinal lining. So now things can get into your body. They can get on the inside of your body without going through the proper channels without being processed properly, it's able to actually get into your body. And when it's partially digested and when things are getting in, because remember your first line of defense is that bacteria. So it's certain things where it's saying, you just can't get in, you have to be eliminated, or we have to break you down in order to get in, or we have to create antibiotics to defend against you or to destroy you. This process isn't happening. So now you're getting toxins, you're getting viruses, you're getting these anti nutrients, you're getting partially digested food directly into the bloodstream. And when this happens, you get this immune system response and you get this inflammation in your body. You get inflammation in your gut. You get inflammation in your body overall. And it's only a matter of time before something that gets in looks like something else in your body. Oh, this looks like joint tissue. So now when your body sees the joint tissue, it recognizes that as a foreign invader and it attacks the joint tissue. And now you're looking at an autoimmune challenge called arthritis, right? And it can happen with so many different areas of your body, but that's how it looks when it's out of balance.